most of us, in fact, who come from other parts of the world, we didn't have this golden paved yellow brick road to where we got to. We had to go off into the bush and cut our own paths with machetes and, you know, chop down trees if we had to. Some people just have it in them to enjoy being up against the odds. It's kind of like, you know, the Rocky IV a little bit. Rocky's just getting the crap kicked out of him, but he just keeps coming back for more. A lot like I was, he wasn't the biggest or strongest or hit it the farthest. And his passion and love for the sport carried him there. The hardest story to tell is the one about the superstar who's got talent and money and success and never really had to go through the hard times. Mike is sort of the, the epitome of, of the making it from nothing kind of story. I don't want to over dramatize it, but I mean, we ate baked potatoes basically almost for a week straight, my wife and I, because we just, you know, we just didn't have two nickels to rub together. And you would see some of the scores that he was shooting and see some of the things he was like, oh my God, he must be, and he's by himself for the most part. If a guy has gone to Q school that many times and he still believes in himself, sure as hell, you can bet if he has a chance to win, he's not gonna fall. It's probably the hardest shot in championship golf. If you miss it, tournament's over. When you have that one putt to really uh, make the most of all your childhood dreams, I mean, it's a huge moment. When I was walking up to the green and this, this nice ovation at being very loud to dead silence. You can't believe that that many people can be that quiet. That putt on 18, people have no idea. You wouldn't wish that kind of putt on, that kind of pressure on, on anybody. I said to myself that this tournament's not ending here. I was going to wheel that ball in the hole.